On today's menu, a delicious recipe so good, you'll want to make it today. Hong Kong style, Tao Ming. Lei Hong Ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese, and Gong Hei Fa Choi, that's Happy Chinese New Year in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from YoungMenCookIt.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. I've been seeing a lot of new faces on the channel here, and I'm so glad you're tuning in because I thought why not make the perfect beginner recipe, also because it's Chinese New Year. This is a delicious but simple Hong Kong style Cantonese Cao Min. Let's begin. Bring a part of water to boil for the noodles. There's actually not too many ingredients in the classic recipe, but it is extremely adaptable. Three pieces of garlic, finely chopped. small red onion, sliced. The red onions aren't exactly traditional. You can sub these out with a couple of shallots or even just white onion. But of course, like I always say, it's casual, it's all good. These here are garlic chives, and you should be able to find these at your Asian grocery store. Bit of a specialty item, you can always sub these out for green onions, but man, these add this incredible garlicky kind of aroma. Really, really nice. Chop up about 40 grams of garlic chives into sticks. Wash and drain 50 grams of bean sprouts and set it aside. Like with most stir-fry recipes, it's actually a really great idea to have everything set to go because the cooking process is actually very fast. So to make that stir-fry sauce in advance, we're gonna start off with this delicious, salty, umami kind of flavor from the soy sauce. One tablespoon soy sauce. Next up, we have this amazing dark soy sauce. This is actually more for color and it will add that iconic, beautiful caramel color to those noodles. It's not as salty as the regular all-purpose or light soy sauce, but this adds kind of a slight sweetness, a little bit of saltiness, so be very sparing with this. And you can tell that it's a really thick, kind of nice soy sauce when you swirl it around the bottle. You can tell that it kind of glazes that glass, really amazing. One teaspoon dark soy sauce. And this is a kind of staple in Asian cooking. This is a plant-based version of a oyster sauce, but sometimes this is actually called kind of a stir-fry sauce or a shiitake mushroom sauce or something like that. This one here is actually called shiitake stir-fry sauce, so a little combination of both. It has this kind of thick consistency, kind of like a hoisin sauce, but it has the shiitake kind of flavor, which adds that umami, that earthiness. This is kind of be the base of that stir fry sauce and will also help thicken it as well. One tablespoon plant-based oyster sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of cane sugar just to help sweeten that sauce and it's going to kind of melt and caramelize really nicely. You can also sub this out for your favorite sweetener. Sometimes I also use maple syrup as well. One teaspoon cane sugar. Last but not least, this is a Japanese toasted sesame oil. This is going to really lift up that sauce and add this amazing aromatic kind of aroma and experience. A little bit of this goes a long way. A splash of toasted sesame oil. Cook the noodles for half the time to package instructions. In this case, two minutes. Gently stir the noodles with chopsticks to keep them from sticking. In this episode, I'm using 140 grams of dry ramen noodles. So we're just about ready to stir fry and I do receive a lot of questions about the type of nonstick pan that I use. 
and I can definitely empathize because I remember how frustrating it was to try to stir fry things and just have things stick to the pan like no tomorrow. So the pan that you've seen me use a lot in previous episodes is this beautiful carbon steel pan. This is by a company called Ballerini, which is actually owned by the company called Swilling, which makes the knives. You do have to season this pan when you first purchase it, but the more you use it, the stronger the kind of non-stick coating becomes. One important step to note is that it really helps with that non-stick ability if you warm up the pan dry without any oil or anything in it for at least two to three minutes you may actually see a little bit of smoke coming out of the pan. So that actually is kind of an indication to tell you that the pan is ready for the oil to be added in. This way you're not actually adding cold oil into a cold pan. I do have a previous episode that I filmed where I show exactly how I season the pan straight from purchase. I'll leave that episode link in the description box below for the check that out. The only thing that this pan cannot really do is cook acidic foods, stuff like tomatoes or tomato sauce. It will actually strip off that hard earned non-stick coating. But I hope this has been very valuable information. Let's get stir frying. Strain out the noodles and set aside. Non-stick pan, medium heat. Instead of using a neutral flavor cooking oil, today we're going to use a little bit of this delicious chili oil made in the previous episode. This is really smoky, not very spicy. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check this out. Make this really easily at home. Two tablespoons chili oil, red onions, saute for one to two minutes. Garlic. sprouts, saute for about two minutes. Garlic chives, noodles, sauce, saute for three to four minutes and it's done. Plate the noodles. Sprinkle with some white sesame seeds and serve. You can now enjoy one of my childhood favorites with absolute confidence. Three pieces of garlic, peeled. Small piece of ginger, roughly chopped. I'm going to be using two mildly spicy green chilies and a really spicy red Thai chili. Now, if you don't want it super spicy, then definitely remove the seeds. If you don't want it spicy at all, then you can also replace these with some red bell pepper and green bell pepper as well. Do me a solid and remember to wash your hands with soap after you touch peppers. Don't rub your eyes, don't touch your face, don't do anything else. Wash your hands. Pestle and mortar. Sprinkle a pinch of salt onto the garlic, ginger and chilies. Crush the ingredients coarsely. So that salt actually acts as kind of an abrasive to really help crush the peppers and really gets the juices flowing. Pat dry about 100 grams of extra firm tofu. 
Slice the tofu into strips. Four to five baby bok choy, roughly chopped. Slice in half, three baby corn. Make the sauce by combining one and a half tablespoons of soy sauce, one teaspoon dark soy sauce, one tablespoon plant-based oyster sauce. Bring some water to boil for the noodles. Unfortunately, my local Asian grocery store does not carry the kind of fresh rice noodle sheets where you can actually slice your own noodles. So I actually was able to find these ones, which I've never used before. These are kind of square shaped rice noodles that are really, really thick. And all you have to do is just soak these in some boiling water for a few minutes and you're good to go. How about 140 grams of noodles? Pour the hot water onto the noodles. Let the noodles soak for three to four minutes. Stir the noodles occasionally to keep them from sticking. By the way, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. If you like easy and delicious recipes like I do, then definitely check out the Vegan Ramen Cookbook or the Cook with Confidence Cookbook, along with our Young Man Cooking merch or Sushi Masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check those out. Now, let's get cooking. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. Quarter cup peanuts. Toast the peanuts for three to four minutes. Set the peanuts aside and place the pan back on medium heat. Two tablespoons avocado oil, garlic, ginger, and peppers. Saute for two to three minutes. Be sure to have a fan on high or a window open. Extra firm tofu. Saute for about a minute. Bok choy. Baby corn. Saute for another minute. Strain out the noodles and add to the pan. Pour the sauce over the noodles. Saute for another two to three minutes and it's done. Plate. Sprinkle over the toasted peanuts. You can now enjoy this delicious stir fry with absolute confidence. Two pieces of garlic, finely chopped.
half a red onion, sliced. Small piece of ginger, finely chopped. Chop about 100 grams of broccolini into bite-sized pieces. About 70 grams of shimeji mushrooms. Chop two sticks of green onion into batons. These here are udon noodles that come in a bit of a vacuum sealed package. These are actually a little bit soft already. All we need to do is just soak this in some hot water. Bring some water to boil for the noodles. Soak the noodles for three to four minutes. Use some chopsticks to gently loosen the noodles. We're just about ready to cook and I get a lot of questions on different sauces that we use. So let's go through them together. This here is the kind of all purpose, my go-to soy sauce. This is the Kikoman organic soy sauce. It adds that really beautiful, delicious saltiness, as well as that amazing umami. This particular one, I feel, has a really nice kind of full body texture. It is really, really nice for cooking, for dipping, and your sort of general purpose type of usage. This is a amazing dark soy sauce. It's not as salty as kind of your regular light soy sauce or that all-purpose soy sauce that I just showed. This is more used for color, and this is what adds that beautiful kind of dark caramel seared color. Also adds a touch of sort of sweetness as well. You can always tell if the dark soy sauce is really nice and thick when you kind of swirl around the soy sauce in the bottle, and you can see that it almost like glazes the bottle. This here is a delicious sriracha, a little bit spicy, and we're going to use this sauce for today's recipe to add that kind of heat, that little bit kick of spiciness, as well as because the sauce is a bit thick, it'll add a bit of a full body thickness to the stir fry sauce. These guys here are kind of a plant-based version of a oyster style sauce. Now because plant-based oyster sauce is actually kind of made with shiitake mushrooms to add that delicious umami kind of flavor, you'll find some that are actually called plant-based oyster sauce and some that are just kind of called a shiitake stir fry sauce or a mushroom sauce or shiitake sauce, something like that. The shiitake stir fry sauce is quite a bit thicker than the plant based oyster sauce. One tablespoon soy sauce, one teaspoon dark soy sauce, one tablespoon sriracha. And because the sriracha is going to act as a bit of a thickener to the stir fry sauce, we're going to use the little bit of a runnier oyster sauce today. One tablespoon plant based oyster sauce. One last thing, we're gonna add this delicious Japanese toasted sesame oil into that stir fry sauce. Just a little bit goes a long way, but this will lift the stir fry sauce into a different dimension. Splash of toasted sesame oil. Mix. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. One tablespoon avocado oil, garlic, ginger, and red onions. Saute for about a minute. Broccolini, green onions. Saute for two to three minutes. Shimeji mushrooms. 
so did for about a minute. Strain out the noodles and add to the pan. Stir fry sauce. Saute for about another 2-3 to three minutes and it's done. As the noodles cook, the sauce will become thick and glossy. Plate. Sprinkle with some sesame seeds and serve. You can now enjoy this simple but delicious stir fry with absolute confidence. Man oh man am I excited to try this. I absolutely love this type of udon noodle. It is so easy, so rustic, visually stunning, and so delicious. This is definitely one of those dishes you could just eat with your eyes. It is so visually pleasing. That dark soy sauce really works that magic and colors those noodles, this beautiful dark caramel kind of color. The stir fry sauce really sticks on to those udon noodles and gives it that salty from the soy sauce, the umami from the plant-based oyster sauce, a little bit of that heat and that spicy kick from the sriracha, and that beautiful kind of high note of that delicious aromatic toasted sesame oil. That sauce really just glazes everything and you get that delicious flavor in every single bite. The garlic, ginger, the red onions that we sauteed adds a lot of delicious kind of garlicky onion flavor as well. And you get that freshness from the broccolini and it adds that delicious contrast in texture, that delicious bite alongside those chewy noodles and the mushrooms also add that kind of earthy umami. The green onions add that freshness as well. This dish is definitely one of those recipes you can make any day of the week. And you can substitute those mushrooms for any mushrooms you have on hand. The broccolini with any sort of greens really you have on hand. Not a lot of cook time. You have this amazing, beautiful, delicious noodle dish ready to go. This is definitely a dish I could enjoy every single week. Absolutely love it. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like me, then definitely check out our cookbook, the Vegan Ramen Cookbook, the Cook with Confidence Cookbook, to take a sneak peek inside the books, to check out the Young Men Cooking merch or the Sushi Masterclass. I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check those out. As always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell, so you won't miss a single episode.